Music touches all of us. Yeah, it certainly does. It inspires us and floods us with feelings. That's why a local senior care facility is using music as therapy for people with dementia. Health specialist Kathy Walsh joins us. This has been a big success. It really has, and I think that's because it's not just any music. This is personal. Songs that may help a person who no longer remembers reconnect. Did you always love music? I loved it, and I would sing it off tune. Joanna Ruhlman is funny and feisty. It's hard to believe she's 88. I think you're 88 years young. I'll take it. Single mother of three, teacher of 35 years, artist. Joanna's paintings are still bright, but her memories have faded. Just a progression of the Alzheimer's. There's nothing that can reverse it. Anne McCurdy says her mother needs help with names, dates, and daily living. Joanna lives in the Summer in Glen Memory Care community. Today is a good day. Memory Care Coordinator Erin Hudnall right, has set Joanna up with her own iPod and personal playlist. I'm going to play our favorite song. Joanna comes alive. The music awakens memories. A light comes on and they're just back and they're really happy. Music can't move Joanna back to the Indiana home she loved. It can't cure the confusion that comes with Alzheimer's. Do you live here? I do. I live in Colorado, not too far from here. Colorado. But a special song or melody can take a person back. In high school. Oh, in high school you knew this music and make a day much better. Well, it is fun. The Music and Memory program is a national effort, a nonprofit dedicated to bringing personalized music to those with dementia and Alzheimer's to improve their quality of life. It's just beautiful. And you can terrific. see how it works. Yeah. It really Thank, does. Thanks, Kathy. All right, let's go to meteorologist